a fashion, a trashion, a fashion, talking trash. And that's why babies and nature's jerks. Oh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to Fashion Trashin'. I'm your host, Cinnamon Charles. And I'm your host, Cinnamon Charles. Hey, Diamond, you know we're on the air, right? Uh, sorry, everybody. And I'm your host, Diamond Dumas. Uh, so, Diamond, you gonna introduce us to your new friend before you suck his face clean off, or what? Oh, yeah. So this is my new boyfriend, Johnny Dump. He's awesome. I met him last week at Backfats. He's so hot. He toast looks like Zed Luscious, don't you think? People tell me that all the time. Uh, he's not gonna do the whole show with us, right? Uh, I thought this was kind of like our thing. I thought you would say something like that, and that's why I took the liberty of canceling professional eater Cherry Chub Chingle's appearance on today's show, and instead, we're gonna try to get you a date. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to play a little game of courting sports. Are you ready to play, Cinnamon? Oh, I love courting sports. I'm ready like a sweaty Freddy there, Diamond. Behind this curtain, we have three eligible bachelors that are Krez excites to meet you. Hello, bachelors. Why don't we begin? Question number one. What would be your perfect night out on the town? Girl, first take her down to the monkey rodeo, tap on dance and feed down to bar fights, have a few brewskis, and then try it in the bottle, draft, and in the can, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I guess I'd go out and get a few tacos. Then, when we were done, we'd probably just go get more tacos. We would start our evening at the Selfish Shellfish by indulging in a few orange shoot ginger snails. Then perhaps we'd see a comedic film such as Going Bonkers or Going Bonkers 2. Then afterwards, I suppose we would frolic like muskrats in the shadows of the night. Wow, those all sound great to me, fellas. So, okay, question number two. You have two weeks to live. What do you do? Wow, man, that's dark. I guess I'd probably drink my weight in alcohol, do a crap load of cheese dust, chow down on a couple fried salads, and buy all the tiny donkeys in the tri-state area. I'm pretty sure I would just eat tacos. I'd also be pretty upset, too, because in, like, two weeks, I couldn't eat any more tacos, so... Crying in tacos, probably. I suppose I would travel to all the provinces of my dreams, such as Little Pop and Old Orleans. Then I'd donate all my remaining money to cardiac arrest research groups, because I love to help, you know, and it feels good. Interesting choices, gentlemen. Well, final question. What animal would you be, and why? Definitely a puma, man, because they live fast and look badass, man, just like me. Yeah. Technically, a taco was once an animal, so I'm going to say a taco. I would be the black back Baxter Hound, mostly because I'm intensely loyal, and nothing makes me happier than to please you. OMG. Well, gentlemen, I can assure you this was not an easy decision. But I'm going to go ahead and choose bachelor number three. Great, Cinnamon. I can't wait to treat you like the lady that you are. Oh, hold on one sec. Oh, I just got a text from my ex. Oh, she wants to get married. This is great. Sorry. Later, guys. Seriously? Well, that's just super. I guess in that case, let's go for number one. Uh, so it seems that Bachelor number one is passed out drunk. Well, all right. Looks like I'll take Bachelor number two, then. Who, me? No way. Nobody picks Dr. Taco last. Now, if you'll excuse me, my mouth's got a date with a taco. Don't worry, Cinnamon. It's okay. Because just in case, I lined up a blind date for you. And he should be here right about... Ding dong, who's there? I'm here for sediment. I'm a date. Oh, you're literally a blind dead? Yeah, what'd you expect, lady? It said so right in the end. Ugh, letter. Ugh, never mind. Well, folks, looks like I'm destined to be alone forever. Hey there, ladies. I'm from I'll Slice You Bitch Pizza. I'm here with an order of 101 pizzas for Cherry Chubb's Chingle. 
oh no, so sorry we ended up canceling that show. But it just so happens she lives right next door to the studio. Great. Hey, say you're one pretty lady. Would you maybe want to go out with me later? Of course. See you in an hour. Look who's back, ladies and gentlemen. Look who is back. Wow, folks. Looks like love does always find a way. Well, now it's time for the part of the show that we like to call Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. Visions of the Future. What? You know those times where you need to take a peek at yourself in the mirror, but there's never one to be found? Not an issue now, because I predict that mirror eyeballs will be the next big thing. Move over, Grandma. I don't need no pesky mirror. I've got some for myself. Check it out. So futuristic and fashionable. They look super cool. The only problem is it really hurts if you happen to look into any kind of bright light. Speaking of which, can we turn on the lights in here maybe? Dim them down? Ah! My rat nose! Hey, babe. I borrowed like 20 bucks from your wallet. Ugh! Gross. You know, I think we should probably see other people. I'm like, tits out of here. Who said that? Where'd you go? I think that Johnny dumped you. I guess you never saw that one coming. Well, folks, it's the end of the show. Don't forget to tune in next time where Diamond and I will be getting all hardcore on your ass as we're taking a passionately assertive class. Should be pretty fun. Until next time, thanks for watching Fashion Trashin'. I'm Cinnamon Charles. And I'm Diamond Dumont. See you next time. Ariba Burpee. A fashion. A trashin'. Fashion. Talking trash. <laughs>